Hello, Dave Hammond Motorsports here. I uh, want to make a video about our plumb bob kit set we've come out. I've got a couple videos out there now, but I just want to make a, one more here quick uh, with some updated information in it. And what we got here to start off with, this is our kit. <clears throat> It'll come with about 24 foot of string, paper clips, so when you put the string down through your hole here, you get your side hole, you can push that through so you don't have to fiddle around. Um, come with six of the plumb bobs. We decided to manufacture these uh, ourselves so that way we uh, are not buying any foreign pieces. We could get them the correct height. Then we it'll come with four of the adapters. Now with these adapters here, machined out see here and what it does is it goes up over this bolt right here um very important those adapters are for half inch headed bolts only they do not fit the metric stuff so just be aware of it uh the adapters right here this one is for your ball joint and then we're going to send you some greaserks and there is a tap. Why we're sending you a tap in Greaserks is on your ball joint, let's see if I, on your ball joint here, we're finding that there's a couple different thread styles. So I didn't want to make adapters for all the different thread styles. So if you have a tapered Greaserk in there, simply take the Greaserk out, pull the ball joint apart, take this tap, and I'll see if I can zero in on it. Made in the USA tap even. And if it has a taper, that tap there will start and you can run it down through. If you have a non-rebuildable ball joint, make sure you have the ball joint like this. Put your tap in so when you turn the tap, the threads, when they cut, the debris will fall down um, but it's just basically everybody's got rebuildable ball joints anymore so just take that apart and do that and why I send the Greaserks is the Zerk here then is the correct one to fit that straight thread so that way you can just update your lower ball joints now what we can do with this plumb bob kit it's pretty amazing here. Um, you want to make sure and look at your chassis. You see there's one washer there, one washer down on that one. Make sure that those washers look fairly similar because if there's different thicknesses of those washers that can move your plumb bob in or out and change your line. Now, if that's all straight and I've shot plenty of videos with this stub and things have moved, so just bear with me, but you'll understand what I'm doing here. But you can get down here and take some tape, like this here is a masking tape for paint, and um, mask off your area so when you get down here, you can take your ink pen and put a mark on it. I want to use ink pen now because, as you can see, in that number there, look how fat that line is. Now you can look at my ink pen, and I've drawn over a couple different times here, but you can see it's much sharper, narrower line, which will give you less air. So what you can do then is plumb bob your, your marks, then take a long rule like this here. Now if you don't have a long rule, I bet you have a hardware store that sells aluminum and steel in their department. Just go buy a 8 or 10 foot, 2 inch wide, 8 inch thick aluminum flat stock and that will work too because if you, if you used to buy a, a rule from me, the shipping will just kill it and it's not worth it. But anyway, we'll draw our line out, then you come up here, plumb bob off the ball joint. Now. The short hole goes down, 
see if we can get that focus in there a little bit. That nut then just simply runs down and pinches the string at your correct height. Now we can put a mark and we can measure from our mark to our line and see what our offset is. Um, do that on both sides. Now I am not throwing anybody under the bus, but what I am seeing is a lot of A-frame variations, and it can be something as simple as a bushing knot in the A-frame, just quite perfect. Um, maybe you got bent lower A-arm bolts. Maybe you just need to massage on the stuff. Um, anyway, now with this Plum Bob kit, we'll be able to see if our, our right wheel here and our left wheel are actually square to one another. If you have a wheel, let's say the right front is forward of the left front, that could create a loose race car. But if you square the rear end with the right front forward, now it's going to make the car so tight you won't be able to turn it. <clears throat> So we need to know where our wheel placement is. And I've been preaching that for years. Wheel placement is your number one thing on a race car. Shocks and springs fall down the list, but wheel placement is very first. So very important to get this. See what you got to do about massaging on your A-frames or whatever you got to do to get that close. I'm going to say if it's within an eighth inch, let it ride. If it's more than that, work on it, please. So, but this is a new product that we've come out here, and we've got it available online at HammondMotorsports.com, 563-659-1153. We have it available through all of our dealer networks across the country and our warehouses as well. So, you have any questions about using my products like always call me i will help you it's that simple so it's just another really great add-on to our setup plates our caster camber gauge to make your cars better just like to say thank you to everybody and like i say get up with me my dealers warehouses and for technical information please spend some time on my hammond motorsports youtube page i'm trying to make sure all videos are on there so take care and have a great weekend thank you bye